हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द अपडेटेड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द कार ट्रैवल्स अराउंड द सर्कुलर ट्रैक हैविंग अ रेडियस ऑफ 300 मीटर सच दैट व्हेन इट इज एट पॉइंट ए इट हैज अ वेलोसिटी ऑफ 5 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो द वेलोसिटी एट पॉइंट ए इज 5 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो लेट्स से दैट वी ए is 5 meter per second and this velocity is increasing at the rate of this function right so we are given v dot function so this is the tangential acceleration equals to v dot and it is 0.06 t right and it is said that where t is in seconds so it is said that determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration so we have to find the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration when it has traveled one third the way around the track right so since the uh, whole uh, circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r right so we can say that s distance covered by the car is 2 pi r and it is said that one third is the distance traveled right so then we we are required to find the velocity and acceleration when one third of the whole circumference is covered right so we need to divide this by 3 right so this will be Uh, 2 pi divided by 3 into r, and we know the value of r. So then this will be s 2 pi divided by 3, and r is how much? So r is 300, right? So this means that this is s is this will give us 100. So 200 pi. So now uh, we need to find the velocity and acceleration magnitude when the car covers this much distance, right? This is 200 pi. meters right so now we have we are given this v dot function right so we can say that this is dv by dt equals to 0.06t or we can say that dv is equal to 0.06 dt and we can integrate this right and the initial velocity is 5 so 5 to v and this is from 0 to t so this will be v minus 5 and this will be 0.06 t square divided by 2 or we can write it as 0.03 right so 0.03 and we we can say that velocity will be equal to 5 plus 0.03 t square let me write the constant on the other side right so this will plus 5 now as we know that velocity is ds by dt so we can say that this is 0.03 t square plus 5 dt and now we can integrate this so this will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t so this will be s minus 0 equals to so this will be 0.03 t cube divided by 3 right so when we divide this by 3 so then this will be 0.01 right so we can write it 0.01 plus 5t right and we can write it like this as well so this is 0.01t cube plus 5t equals to s and the s value is given right so s value is 200 pi right so this will be equal to 200 pi or uh, we can bring this 200 pi to the other side of the equation so then this will be minus 200 pi equals to 0 right so this is a degree 3 equation so then we have to find the roots of this uh, equation by using calculator right so and the desired value of t will be that root which is positive right so this equation has three roots and two roots are imaginary and one root is 35.58 right so this is the value of T right, so the car will take 35.58 seconds to cover one third of the whole track, right? So this is that time. So now we can find the velocity by using this equation, right? So I can find velocity from this equation. So velocity at that particular point will be 0.03 uh, t square, right? So t is now 35.58 whole square plus five. and similarly we can find the at that is the tangential acceleration using this equation so this will be 
zero six into t so t is again thirty five point five eight and similarly a n will be equal to v square divided by rho so rho is constant which is the radius of the trig right and v so once we find this v value so we will use that v value in this equation so that will give us the normal component of the acceleration now when we solve this so velocity uh, comes out to be 42.98 and the tangential acceleration comes out to 2.135 meter per second square so now we can use that velocity so that velocity is 42.98 whole square divided by the radius of the curvature so r is given which is 300 meter so when we solve this so the normal component of the acceleration comes out to be 6.15 meter per second square and we can find the acceleration magnitude which is equal to at square and acceleration magnitude will be equal to so at is 2.135 a n is 6.15 so the acceleration magnitude comes out to be 6.51 meter per second square and the velocity magnitude is 42.98 when the car travels one third the way around the track right so this is the solution of this problem